The Obiwali Cultural Center in Port Harcourt River State is filled with people from all walks of life who have come to partake in the review of Bishop Matthew Cooker's new book titled Witness to Reconciliation. The book is a compilation of his activities and contributions to promoting peace in Uguni land. Bishop Kuka arrives the venue accompanied by former president Olusegun Obasanjo, who is the special guest of Vana, and the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. The book is reviewed by former governor of Ikiti State, Mr. Kayode Fayemi, who is represented by a former River State Commissioner for Information. Your body has already defined what justice meant to them when they are here before the Oputu panel. These include full implementation of the Oboli Bill of Rights, public apology by Shell to Oboli people before any discussion between both parties, comprehensive audit and cleanup of Oboli of Shell's own spillage and pollution of Oboli land. In his speech, former President Obasanjo praises Bishop Kuka for his efforts at promoting peace in the region. Bishop Sukkot, for the world to ensure that peace, reconciliation, security, and harmony remain harmony in Ogunda. There are comments from the chairman of the Supreme Council of Ogoni traditional rulers. This is so important to us. Because the whole world is moving in the direction of renewable energy. And without an effective reconciliation, the remaining crude oil in the land will remain on tap while the entire world is already thinking and looking beyond the world. Governor Nyesom Wike of River State, who advocates peace for progress in Oguni land, acquires 20 copies of the book. <laughs> In his vote of thanks, the Bishop of the Diocese of Sokoto appreciates the Ogunis and all others involved for their support. Some attendees who spoke to channels television on the sidelines are optimistic about the future of Uguni. The book chronicles the modest efforts of Bishop Kuka, then Father Kuka, in bringing about reconciliation in Ogoni land, internal reconciliation first among the Ogonis, and external reconciliation with the corporate bodies that have functioned in Ogoni land, predominantly shared. Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka is a Nigerian legend in many ways, and his book tells the story of his personal involvement in resolving differences among different factions of Ogoni land.